Welcome guys to another Ask Zenla. Welcome to this workshop on page and course page SEO. So the same principle for pages will apply to course pages as well. So any pages inside your site, whether they be course or whether they be the static pages that you've got. So what we're going to do today is we've got this page here about us, which has not got any SEO applied to it. So the problem we've got is that if we haven't got SEO, then uh, the search engines and uh, that are looking at your site won't have any idea. They will check the text, but they won't have any idea of the things that you're trying to target for SEO. And also when you post on things like social media, then you're going to get this static blocks that pop up that you do not want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump in. I'm going to grab this URL here for the about us page. I'm going to copy that and I'm going to jump into Facebook and just show you what happens uh, when it generates the preview inside Facebook and how we can fix this using SEO. So here I have a Facebook page and I'm just going to just type in that URL and we're going to watch what the preview generates for us. So as you can see, it's put this image. This is nothing to do with surfing. This is just a default placeholder image that Zenla creates. Um, but you need to actually, it's taken the text here, which is good, but it just says about us lowercase. You know, I want to make it better. So what we can do is we can use page SEO to do that. So I'm going to jump now back into my Surf Dudes site here and I'm going to come to that page. So I'm going to go to site and I'm going to go to pages and I'm going to go to about us. So I'm going to click edit here. Right. So targeting specific keywords when you what you want is you want people to you want to think like people are typing into a search engine and what they're going to be looking for. Now, my particular site I'm designing here is for older generation of surfers. So it's older people. I took up surfing when I was about 45 and um, although very fit, um, it was still a struggle because you're older, you know, you're not a teenager whipping around and um, just, you know, got that energy and stuff that they've got. So you have to allow for these things. So my keyword here is older generation of surfers. Now, if you look in my copy, and this is really important, this is what people miss. They just put keywords into the SEO page and there's no copy to back that information up because uh, things like Google are really looking that you put unique copy and content on there and that it's matching up with the SEO, otherwise it can red flag it. So let's have a look at this. What I've done is surf do's transform the art of surfing. That's one of my catch lines, as well as people like you with a passion to surf. So, but what I'm targeting here on the about us page is older generation of surfers. So you're going to see in this second line down here, uh, we've got older generation of surfers. Now, if you come down to the body copy, you're also going to see this repeated. Now you want to repeat it, but you don't want to go too overboard with it. I generally put maybe three in there or four, uh, very rarely more than that. And sometimes I'll have it in the footer on each page. Uh, but you can see here, I've got old generation surfers. And then if we come down here, there's an increasing generation of older surfers. So there you go. I've got it there as well. So I've got it in three places. So I'm really trying to target that word. And that's what I'm going for with this particular SEO workshop for you. So what we need to do is to get this to work here is we need to go and look at the page SEO. Now I'm not talking about here before I'm pulled up on it. I'm not talking about the priority of different headings and uh, body copy such as H1 down to H6. Now, if this means nothing to you, don't worry. You'll find out more about it. The more you research SEO on pages, uh, basically it means H1 is a bigger heading. So it's got more priority over H2 and H2 has got more over H3. And then we're down to body copy, which is like paragraph or body copy. Um, and that has a priority as well, but it's based on uh, Google's algorithms. You don't have to, I know if it's bamboozling you, but don't honestly, don't worry about it at this stage. If you want to find out more about um, SEO and those sort of things, pick up on those keywords about H H1 tags and priority of tags and you'll understand. Okay. So, uh, cause we have the ability in here to drop H1 and H2 tags in. If you look at the headings here, 
you're going to see that we um, can put different block Ooh, that's the wrong one if we go into elements here you're going to see that we have headings and we have these h1 h2 h3 h4 so that's what that relates to okay guys so that's enough of that don't worry about it okay so we're, we're generating or we're looking for the keyword older generation of surfers so I'm going to copy that and now we're going to go into the SEO for the page so let's go down here to SEO so this little arrow this is your page settings you've got lots of different things in here but we're concentrating on the SEO settings so let's open that up the first thing I want to do I don't want that lowercase about us I want to change that around around a bit so I want to put about surf dudes and then I could put in here older surfers okay so I've got my keyword so I want to make sure if you read this text short paragraph that describes the page content it should include the relevant keywords so you're matching this up so make sure that that keyword is in there for sure and we'll build some copy around it and then we've got up to here we've got keyword meta keywords now don't get meta keywords is basically hit points like meta description it's like hit key points yeah so keywords help search engines know what's important on your page add your comma separated keywords so between each keyword or key phrase there should be a comma and then the next keyword or key phrase so I'm going to put in here straight away older generation of surfers okay and then I'm going to put a comma and then I'm going to put older surfers and then I might put problems with age and surfing that's quite long-winded that one but um, surf courses and then comma and then I might do that's that's it generally inside here I don't put more I try to put five between five and ten I don't go too mad with this lots of people like put hundreds of them and it, it's not a good idea uh, I've got four in there now you're going to see this little thing up for critically grammary because I've got a little bit of a typo error but I'm going to leave that in there because I've done that on purpose because it matches up with my uh, text in the copy so I'm leaving that in there so what I want to do now is I want to write some description I will make sure I've got older generation of surfers so I'm going to put surf dudes helping an older generation of surfers overcome their fears associated with age surf dudes is dedicated to an older generation of surfers now I could spend quite a lot of time on this you know so um, surf dudes are dedicated to an older generation of surfers so that's good but you can spend quite a bit of time just tailoring things perfectly but for now that is perfect okay so the next thing is on the right hand side as we type stuff out you're going to see that it will update on the SEO preview if I cut this out you can see that's disappeared now so this is about this is actually providing the copy that this is the social media this is what it's going to look like so I also want to put a social image in here so I'm going to go and grab one now you can upload one from your computer or you can grab one that you've already got uh, so I'm going to choose let's choose uh, Jace here doing a nice back so there we go so we got it down there so you can see looks good so double check that and click done okay now you've done that save the page okay so we've done our SEO in the page I always like to go back in and just have a double check that it's all there yeah that's good so that's good and double check it again let's just make sure yep that all looks good remember these are comma separated these keywords and key phrases so let's cancel that 
Okay, I'm gonna come back to the About Us page. I'm gonna refresh it, Control and Refresh. Just so it refreshes that page out. Okay, now I'm gonna grab this, Control C. And we're gonna jump back into Facebook and have a look how it previews. Now there might be a problem, and I'm gonna tell you about how to clear Facebook's cache if it's got a preloaded image already on there. And I'll talk about that in a second. Right guys, welcome back. So this is what we had before. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just kill this off and I'm going to refresh this page to clear or reload the page. Okay, that's that has reloaded. Let's jump in here now, copy that URL and let's have a look. So give it a chance to fetch the preview. And there we go. So that looks a lot better. Now I can post that and that's how it's gonna look. So let me just post it. And there we have it. So you can see that's there. Now what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna delete the post out. I wanna show you something and how to clear the cache if you have a problem. So I'm deleting this post out and that's gone now. So what if I go in now to this and I change the text, which I might want to do. So if I go back into the About Us page and I change this SEO in here, let's, let's put something like, let's just say we wanted to get, take that end part off and I wanted to get rid of older surfers up there, keep the keywords the same and I wanted to change the image. So let's go and change the image to him and let's click save. Okay, now let's just save the page. So you've changed the image. So you'd hope that Facebook would also update with those changes. So there you go, this is the new changes. So I'm gonna go back into Facebook now and we're gonna put this URL back in like this. And look, it's got this image. But that's not what we had. You know, it's got older surface, we've changed it. So let me just close it again because what I didn't do was refresh this page. So let me just refresh that page. Come back in here. Let's just reload the page. And put this back in. And there, we still got that image, even though we refreshed the page. So what's going on? Well, what happens is um, Facebook, when you do your post, it will actually save that content. It will save that image. It will save that information. So every time you post, it'll have that same information. So how can we clear that out? Well, we can actually use a Facebook development sharing debugger to actually change it. So I'm going to close this down and you're going to go into the URL. Check the description for this URL here. This is the URL at the moment. So it's basically developers.facebook.com tools debug. So it's forward slash tools, forward slash debug. Okay. And it's going to give a sharing debugger. So what you need to do is you need to paste the URL in here and you need to say debug. And what's going to happen is this is the post. Now this is the old post. So what we need to do is we need to scrape it. We need to get it to relook at the information and repull and keep that cache of the new page, not the old page that we just had. So we're gonna hit scrape, and we're gonna let this change, and we should get this image change and this change. Two seconds. Takes a little bit of time, Facebook. And there we go, oh, there we go. So that is completely different now. Look at this, it's much better. So if I now come into the page, and we paste this in here, let me just reload this page we're gonna get the correct one. So if you guys have accidentally put stuff up and you've got that old image, you're gonna to need to go through and you're gonna to need to scrape uh, the new for the new SEO. So I'm gonna put this back in here now and look, it's perfect. So if I post this, I've got my new image, I've got my new text here, it's all good. So that is how we can set up page SEOs. Now remember you can do the same for course pages as well. Um, but to make sure that Facebook's doing these things, Twitter has also got the ability to go in and do uh, clearing caches as well. But Facebook is particularly, um, does this quite a lot where it holds this, this old information. So be careful. But if you need to clear the cache on any other social medias, just go to Google and go clear cache 
for social on Twitter or wherever you're putting it and there'll be some information there for you to go and clear like we're using the debug the developers debug sharing debugger on Facebook okay guys so I hope that's helpful um, it's pretty important like I said to, notes to take away from this is to make sure that you are targeting certain key words yeah or key phrases and that you are actually including those in the copy and when you come to edit the page make sure that those same keywords are featured in the description okay and that they are featured in the meta keywords okay with any other associated keywords you want in there as well obviously you can upload your own social image as well and the title and you can save that uh, make sure before you do the URL link that you do refresh the page and if you have a problem with it make sure that you go in developers debug you do the scrape to make sure it's okay and then repost it up on your page and everything will be absolutely fine so there we go it's, it's actually really quick once you do it and, and I advise you to actually go and before you start posting to social media that you set up all your pages with SEO and you make sure that it's, it's tagged in the copy as well so that you've got a reference of it inside your copy a few times okay so that it will pick up better also make sure that your copy is unique and you haven't stolen it from another website or used parts because Google can pick up on that and um, you know give you um, stop your page coming up so just make sure that you've got those points if as long as you're covering those points you'll be absolutely fine all right guys so don't get bamboozled I know I was talking about um, h1 h6 tags but don't get too confused by that just realize there is an order so if you do want more of a priority on something you might want to put that older generation of surface in an h1 tag yeah and, or an h2 tag and you definitely want to include those keywords that you're going for here what people would type into the search engines into the body copy because it will be picked up when you submit it to Google and these sort of things so this is page SEO inside of Zenla